Hello everyone, and welcome to Fireside Chat with Former Son Prepping. <laughs> hey yo. Oh man, this, this is a beautiful night. Aside from the neighborhood dogs barking at something every now and then. Pretty quiet, as you can tell. I'm sitting inside the tent, but uh, inside the tent, but I got the door down. I'm sure y'all can't see that; it's too dark. We'll stay focused on the fire. Hope y'all are all doing well. You know, it's good to uh, it's good to get out here uh, and remember just how rough this is, how tough it is on you. You know, you can't really truly appreciate blessings like a good bed to sleep in, a roof over your head until you come out here every now and then, usually about twice or two or three times a year for me. And, uh, you know, when you when you come out here and rough it off grid, uh, autofocus keeps messing around, trying to focus on that flame. Let me back it out a little bit. Uh, you can't really appreciate the uh, the blessings until you have some some rough times. Is what I'm trying to get around to. We are truly blessed. Yes, bad things are coming. Um, I'm assured of that in the Bible. But these were the good times, you know. We're still in the good times, y'all. Uh, it's easy for a prepper or a homesteader or whatever the case may be to get overwhelmed by the daily news and the corruption of the government of this country and of others, trust me. Ours isn't the only one. This stuff is on a global scale. Enough about that. But, uh, you know, get out and when you can. And set up your tent or your hammock or whatever you use, you know. I'm actually looking into a hammock. Uh, you know, I have a hammock in the yard, uh, but I, I've tried to sleep in it, and side sleeper can't do it. Uh heard a dog so oh great the smoke's coming in here yay um so you know i forgot what i was trying to say anyhow enjoy the good times make memories with your family while the getting's good yes stock up Get your preps in order. But, uh, you know, take an hour or two every day, and if you can, if you got the time. Uh, I know some of y'all are truly busy. I get that. But, uh, you know, take some time for yourself. Slow down for an hour or two. Read your Bible. Hug your loved ones. Stuff like that. It's important. That's why we're doing all this. What is it? Ripper? Coyotes may be getting close. Either that or the dogs are fighting, play fighting. It's about 9 o'clock at night. You know. Still quiet night. I love it. Still, uh, you still hear a car or two zip up and down the road. Some idiot with loud tailpipes. You still hear that every now and then. Yeah, it's like the dogs are playing. Uh, but for the most part, pretty quiet out here tonight. And I love it. 
I don't even know if y'all can see the sky. It is, uh, well, let me back you out here. Maybe you can see if I back you out. No, not really. You can hear the doggoes out there shaking. I, for, I forget how nice this is. Just sitting by the campfire. The smell of the smoke. Which I don't particularly enjoy, but, uh... Alright, boys. What are y'all doing? Wrestling? Anyhow. It's truly good to get out here and, you know, uh, sit by the fire at the edge of the tent here. And I think about uh, each and every one of y'all. You have a lot of thinking time out here uh, when you're off the grid and no internet and plenty of thinking time. And, uh, I think about how blessed I am to have the subscribers I have. Uh, my subscribers are awesome. Uh, I could just about name you all one by one. The ones that are active, you know, anyway. And uh, I get it. People work. People are busy. And I'm just so thankful to have y'all as, as subscribers. And, uh, what are you doing, son? Huh? Yes, I know you can't see him, but that's Rocky. I can tell by the... It's so dark, I'm having to tell my dog if I feel... Hey, Rocco. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? You want to come in? Come on. Let me, get, let me turn the light on here for a second. Yo. Rocky do? You coming in, Tom? Come on. Come on. He's used to being next to me all the time. Come on. I don't know. I don't know if I can fit both of y'all, big boy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's used to sleeping right next to me every night since 2014 when I got him as a pup. Yeah, my sleeping bag's pretty cozy, ain't it, buddy? All right, let's turn this light off. Well, you, okay, well then leave then. Whatever. They're probably just wanting to play ball or get me out there to throw a stick or something. Probably hear some coyotes close tonight. I just, uh... Ripper's pretty good at keeping them at bay. Uh, well, both of my dogs are. But, uh, you know, if it was Rocky by himself, I would kind of worry about him. Because he's a smaller dog. He's, you know, 40 pounds. A couple of coyotes could take him on, you know, especially two or three or three or four. Them things run in packs most of the time. You know, I, I'm guessing they do because it, it sounds like there's ten of them when they get to cackling. Anyhow, y'all. Yep, there goes a the truck. Somebody with a loud muffler. The redneck rumble, they call it around here. Got my little small cheery fire. Keeping the bugs, you know, smoke's keeping the bugs out, though, which is good. All right, y'all. Be blessed. I'm probably fixing to uh, turn in, get in my bag here. It ain't, uh, I'm still in short sleeves, but uh, it's cooling off for sure. A lot of people don't, uh, they don't do the right thing when they get in their sleeping bag. You know, when uh, sleeping bags work better when you're, when you're not clothed, you know, let me put it that way. Whatever it is you wear to bed every night, you know, it's probably what you should be wearing in your sleeping bag. The more skin to reflect the heat, you know, the more heat to reflect. So, uh, 
Think about that next time you get in your sleeping bag. Doggos are playing in here. This has been the Fireside Chat with Farmer Son Prepping. God bless y'all. We're going to cut her right here. Another loud vehicle ruining my night. Good gracious. Thankful for it anyway. God bless. <laughs>